we're speaking um, ahead of what is predicted to be the peak of the problems um, and knowing that it's hard already that it's only going to get worse before it starts to get better is scary um, what will we in general practice be asked to do you know will we be uh, asked to be at the bedside of people who are dying uh, without drugs without syringe drivers without the sort of nursing care that we would normally be used to having you know we like to pride ourselves on providing excellent end-of-life care to patients and I think we are all frightened of not being the doctors that we want to be to our patients um, and, we, and yet we're also what we very much don't want to do is to engender any sense of panic in our patients so it's that professionalism keeping it together uh, because that's what our patients need from us and for us more experienced doctors it's holding it together and being calm and professional because some of our newer colleagues are more overtly frightened um, and we need to be uh, the steady influence for them. Yeah and I guess it must be kind of a horrible feeling that you are compromising on the care of your patients almost through no fault of your own and perhaps this is all about working out what to do with the resources that you have whether it's kind of personal protective equipment or length of consultations yes absolutely and, and, and what is happening is we're refining everything almost a daily basis you know I think when one of my colleagues suddenly realized that we haven't actually got that many syringe drivers in the community we actually haven't got that many nurses who can use syringe drivers in the community um, and what are we going to do if you know, that there was a nice news that a whole heap of syringe drivers have been ordered but there's a five-week lead time on them well the crisis is going to hit us long before then we have COVID-19 in two of our nurses nursing homes already um so how are we going to do it actually what we need immediately the practical side was right we doctors need a list of drugs that we can prescribe and use that don't need a syringe driver there are things that can be used sublingually there are things that can be used through transdermal patches you know things that could be given orally even to the most sick and frail fantastic what have we got let's get it ready so that when the time comes we have these resources to call upon at our disposal so that we can still provide the best possible care i think that's the key thing is we desperately want to provide the best possible care despite whatever situation we have nationally 